Hi everyone, I'm here to introduce the new MSP430 FR6989 Launchpad Development Kit and demonstrate how MSP FRAM microcontrollers are enabling intelligent system state restoration after power failure with our Compute Through Power Loss utility. If you're not familiar with the MSP430 FR6X FRAM MCU series, check out our introductory video to this product family or visit ti.com slash FRAM to learn more. Let's start at the top. Rapid prototyping is made easy with onboard emulation. The FR6989 Launchpad features the EasyFET emulator for programming and debugging. It also includes Energy Trace++ support for real-time current measurement on MSP microcontrollers with extra functionality on the MSP430 FR6989, such as state and peripheral information for a complete power analysis. The FR6989 Launchpad is also the first FRAM Launchpad with a 40-pin booster pack plug-in module connector. The connector enables you to add on booster packs or companion boards to extend your Launchpad's functionality. This could include adding wireless from sub 1 GHz to Wi-Fi for remote sensing and communication. What also stands out on this Launchpad is the segmented LCD, which is driven directly from the on-chip 320-segment LCD controller. This enables low power and smaller system size in applications using LCD. You may also notice some additional connectors at the bottom of the board near the included LEDs and buttons. These connections are directly routed to the extended scan interface. It is a dual analog front end that offers the lowest power in detecting rotation in applications such as flow metering. What's more, the micro USB cable and quick start guide in the box can help you power up your launch pad and get started in minutes. Out of box, this launchpad offers two modes similar to the MSP430 FR4133 launchpad, a stopwatch mode and a temperature mode. But today, I'm going to share an example leveraging something truly unique to TI's FRAM microcontroller family. So let's plug it into a computer and see what happens. You can see the screen light up immediately and a timer starts counting up. Now let's pull the USB cord out, cutting the power from the launchpad. When we plug the board back in, the normal mode of operation would be to reinitialize the device and restart your application. When we plug the demo back in though, you can see that the device simply starts up instantly and continues counting from its previous spot. This functionality is enabled by the Compute Through Power Loss FRAM utility. Traditional use of the Low Power Mode 3.5 and Low Power Mode 4.5 modes on MSP cause the application to reset when waking up with neither application nor peripheral state retained. This can increase the startup time and complexity of applications. The CTPL utility leverages the non-volatile FRAM to provide an easier solution for embedded software developers. The utility enables application execution using the power saving low power modes 3.5 or 4.5 with the new ability to save system state. It also enables a new shutdown mode to detect when power is lost either internally using an ADC or comparator peripheral or externally with an energy harvesting IC providing a GPIO interrupt that puts the device into shutdown mode. When power is restored, the CTPL shutdown function restores the state and program execution continues. You can learn more about this library at ti.com slash tool slash MSP dash FRAM dash utilities. You can also see it in action at the TI design page ti.com slash tool slash TIDM dash FRAM dash CTPL. To get started with the launchpad described in this video, check out ti.com slash tool slash MSP exp430 FR6989. Thanks for watching.